Cyclone Niva is rapidly approaching landfall as a Category 1 Cyclone. 11.6 degrees north and 81 degrees east as of 10 p.m. Indian Standard Time this November 25th, 2020. Wind speeds of 80 miles an hour, a central pressure of 982 millibars, and the storm is moving 11 miles per hour to the northwest, and it is a stage 4 on the CDPS scale. Breaking down that stage 4 on the CDPS scale, we have a wind speed of significant, storm size of just over moderate, rainfall potential just over major, and the overall threat to land is moderate to significant. Now once again, that is a stage 4 on the CDPS scale, which means extensive damage is possible. The storm has expanded uh, a little bit since our last update. We have 95 nautical mile wind fields to the northeast, 60 nautical miles to the southeast, 75 nautical miles to the southwest, and 80 nautical miles to the northwest. The storm is currently 84 miles away from Puducherry, uh, 113 from Chennai, 248 from Bengaluru, 430 from Hyderabad, and 746 from Mumbai. The cyclone warning is still in effect for the coastlines of Tamil Nadu to Puducherry. Maximum sustained winds, now we are running with 80 miles an hour, which is also what the GTWC are running with. Now both the SSEC and NOAA's ADT and also the IMD are running with 70 miles an hour. Okay, and so here's our latest cone of uncertainty forecast by our very own Mr. Schwent. Now the storm is expected to maintain intensity as it landfalls, uh, with forecasted winds being 85 miles an hour before weakening as it travels further inland. Now sea surface temperatures don't really need to play a factor anymore, but they still are fairly supportive of maintaining the storm's current uh, intensity all the way up until landfall, which is in just a few hours. Alright, so intensity is looking like the storm is at its peak, but the storm could maintain its intensity all the way up until landfall, but after said landfall, the storm will weaken substantially. The shear is expected to rise quite significantly from here on out. Uh, the sea surface temperatures, like I just mentioned, don't really need to play a factor at this stage in the storm's life as it is expected to landfall very soon. Uh, the relative humidity is expected to start significantly falling from this point forward. Alright, so the storm as of right now is very close to land and some areas could already be experiencing uh, the storm's effects with landfall expected in the coming hours.